Throughout the construction of the legendary Hoover Dam in the U.S. from 1931 to 1936, an estimated 213 workers lost their lives. The working conditions could be downright dangerous, and as a result, a lot of people died from things like carbon monoxide poisoning, getting hit by machinery, or crushed by falling material. And since the work tunnels could reach up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a good amount of workers also died from heat exhaustion. Unfortunately, though, there is a very tragic coincidence involved in the Hoover Dam's creation. One of the first workers to die was a man named John Tierney, who drowned in a flood while helping look for an ideal place to build the dam. He died on December 20, 1921. The very last worker to die was a man named Patrick Tierney, who fell off an intake tower. Not only was Patrick Tierney John Tierney's son, Patrick died on December 20, 1935, exactly 14 years on the dot after his father. It's unbelievable, but it just shouldn't have happened in the first place. I hope they rest in peace.